that's it you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and today i'm coming at you from in a car this is uh this is odd this is weird so today i wanted to make a video talking about coping after a flashback episode this video was requested and i figured hey why not make it because i feel like this is going to be a really helpful video to anyone who's new hi i'm lydia i'm diagnosed with pdsd i have experienced multiple traumas in my life the main one being my ex committing suicide in front of me i've had my fair share of trauma and i experienced flashbacks so i've over the years i've come up with a fairly okay way of coping now so first of all let's talk about what flashbacks are and how they affect people flashbacks can be anything sensory so it can be visual tactile auditory someone's playing loud music because they're a dickhead flashbacks affect people differently so what is a flashback a flashback is a vivid experience in which someone relives a specific traumatic event and it can feel as though that event is happening in that exact moment. Flashbacks are not like watching a video, it's not linear, it's not watching something from start to finish. It can be absolutely anything relating to that traumatic event, it can be a feeling, it can be triggered by someone touching you in a certain place. So now let's get on with the video, so coping after a flashback. So you had a flashback, what do you do? My first bit of advice is to take a minute. I don't care what you're doing, where you are, what's going on, please take a minute. Give yourself time to come to terms with what you've just experienced. Take a breath and try to remind yourself that the next thing would be to remember some grounding technique when it comes to this please remember your five senses so so sight touch hearing smell taste remember all the senses and try to stimulate each one in a way that distracts from what you just experienced my next bit of advice would be to just keep telling yourself that you are safe now you are not in that moment and you are you are not in that moment anymore you have moved you've moved forward you're not there you are safe reminding yourself the next bit of advice that i have would be to get some fresh air take a step outside have a minute deep breaths in out focus on the surroundings where you are what's going on how hot or cold it is the next thing would be to journal what you've experienced when it comes to therapy it's quite hard to talk about what you experience in flashbacks and something that i found helpful with my psychiatrist is i write everything down that happens and that's been really helpful in the respect that I'm able to then hand it over. There you go, that's what I've been going through. My next bit of advice is if you have them and you feel like you need them, take PRN medication. PRN stands for take, is, is for take when needed. So if you have that, I would advise doing that if you feel like you need to. The next thing again involves a notebook and that would be to try and work out what triggered that incident and write it down the more you know about your triggers the more you can prepare yourself and make yourself feel safe and put yourself in a situation where you just feel safer because you know what's going to trigger you and you can avoid them triggers you can work on them triggers Knowing your triggers is something that's really important and something that I want to make a whole, whole video talking about. Another one would be to talk to someone, whether that's a close friend, family member. So yeah, talking to someone is definitely a good coping skill and something that I think most people would suggest doing. However, I am aware that not everyone has someone to talk to and not everyone feels comfortable talking to people. So please don't feel like that's your only option. There are things you can do that can help, like recording a voice note to get things out, filming a video, phoning someone, texting someone, writing a note, writing in a notebook. These things all help. It's a way of releasing what you just experienced. And the last thing I want to say is distraction techniques distraction techniques are your new best friend i always carry stuff to distract me with and a lot of times my fidget cue of my poppet thing let me let me get my, my poppet out my poppet thing this is my poppet thing so i always have stuff like this on me as a distraction 
and I would highly recommend it. If you have any other coping skills for flashbacks, let me know in the comments down below because, you know, I want this channel, page, whatever you want to call it, to be a helpful community. So yeah, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching and if you're new, hit the subscribe button while you're here. Give it a little tickle. Say hello in the comments. We don't bite, I promise. And I will see you guys soon with a new video. Peace.